All right, let's uh, let's move on. The Guaranteed Rate Bowl. We got a few more games that we want to hit here. Uh, guaranteed Rate Bowl, and this one gives us West Virginia against Minnesota. It's Tuesday, December twenty eighth, ten fifteen p.m. Eastern Time. Going through the games, uh, or sorry, the uh, gifts on this is at Chase Field in Phoenix. By the way, this is a Theragun Pro Massager, Lululemon twenty two L Cruiser Backpack, and a twenty six ounce ice shaker bottle. Uh, okay, that's cool. Like I, I don't know about the Theragun Pro uh, Massager or the Lululemon Backpack. Yeah, you know what, you know about it. You know about it. it well, is that one of those muscle massage things? Yeah, that's what they call it. <laughs> May to be used on you or your partner. <laughs> they gonna give that to to college football athletes? Like what? You know? Like, just I know they don't even need it. They're like eighteen to twenty four. They're in the best shape of their life. Give it to them when they're forty. <laughs> it's so dumb, God. So Minnesota is a five point favorite <laughs> in this game. The total <laughs> is uh, sitting at forty four and a half now. These are two teams that are not great offensively, and Minnesota has a significantly better. Defense than West Virginia. Uh, Letty Brown is not going to play for West Virginia. I guess one of the storylines here is Minnesota fired their offensive coordinator and they brought back Kirk Soraka, who was the offensive coordinator that left after their big, you know, ten win season under PJ Fleck, like second year or whatever. And uh, and he went and was Penn State's offensive coordinator for one year, and then he was an analyst this year for West Virginia. Well, now he's been hired back to be offensive coordinator at Minnesota again. And who do they happen to play in their bowl game but West Virginia? So they've got a little bit of insight there. Uh, I think Minnesota is just a significantly better team than West Virginia. I, You know, you look at some of the numbers on it. West Virginia 3-13 and 13 against the spread in their last 16 bowl games. Like, they've never been good in bowl games. And Minnesota has covered four bowl games in a row. P.J. Fleck gets his boys fired up for these things. He always views this crap as, uh, as opportunities uh, I fully expect them to to win by at least a touchdown, if not more. I don't think West Virginia is going to be able to score on that Minnesota defense, so I'll I'll take Minnesota minus five. Yeah, we're we're agreeing a lot now uh, towards the end of this thing. I completely agree. I think Pete Dick Fleck is going to have his boys rolling, and West Virginia, you know, losing their OC. I think he was the play caller, right? Will you know, Neil Brown wasn't play calling, right? No, they they've still so he was only an analyst there. The uh, he was an analyst. Right. Yeah, he was an okay. analyst for West Virginia. So, but it, still, he, he knows their game plans. Like he helped with the game. Nah, plans. I don't care about any of that. At some point in time, talent wins more <laughs> times than not. And I think I think Minnesota's better than them. I think Minnesota's more physical on defensive front than that. Uh, they haven't played a lot of good defenses because the Big Twelve just didn't play defense. You know, a couple of teams did: Baylor, Oklahoma State. I think they struggled real bad against those teams. So uh, I think I think they're going to struggle here. Not that Minnesota defense is, or Oklahoma State. That's a gross exaggeration. But yeah, I, I I like I like the Gophers in this. I like the Gophers to go. That makes sense. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.